French toast, despite its name, is a key part of any American breakfast, and I'm gonna show you how to make it perfect. All right, today we're doing French toast. And what we need for some good ass French toast is we're gonna need three large eggs, only the premium, 48 cents at Publix, okay? Not gonna cost you a thing. We got some bread, you can use whatever bread you want. We went ahead and got the, look at this, look at this, original recipe homestyle white bread because we're fancy, all right? We're fancy, we're doing this right, okay? Sticking with the fancy train, maple syrup, can't go wrong. If you need to, if you need to, if you need to, but get the premium. We're back again, all right? You need some ground cinnamon. This is very important. You can't have French toast without your cinnamon. If not, it's not French toast. This is also not optional. You need this. Get it. Get it. $2.99, get it. You need some milk. I went for almond milk. I'm lactose intolerant, now you know. Some salt, I'm going for sea salt because we're still fancy. We're still premium. Get this good French toast, still premium. Blueberries, if you want them. Strawberries, we're not no peasants. So let's come in here real quick. We got our liquid measuring cup. This is gonna be for the milk. We have a teaspoon whisk to whisk everything together. We got our bowl, rubber spatula, and then our nonstick skillet. That's it, let's get cooking. If you already have sliced bread, this doesn't apply to you, but we went fancy, all right? We got uh, that home style, it's not pre-cut, so we gotta cut it ourselves. And the only thing I got is my mom's rainbow knife. I haven't bought a knife yet, all right? Sue me. The YouTube video I watched, I'm not gonna link it, said you need thicker bread for better French toast. I don't like thin French toast, I don't think anybody does, so we're gonna cut it real thick. Again, only knife I have, sue me. So, I'm thinking, I don't know how big that is. Big enough. Nobody likes the end piece, but we're gonna have some, some end piece in there somewhere. I mean, that's life. Just keep it going. I'm making this too thick. No, that looks good. Look at that. That's professional. Professional grade. We're gonna make some delicious French toast. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up this whole loaf here. I'm not saving any of this. This is the only reason why I bought this. We're not gonna make sandwiches out of this. Does this look like sandwich bread? No. All right, now that we have all of our bread chopped up and we got some, we got some, it's chunky. It's gonna be good, it's gonna absorb all of our batter. It's gonna be delicious. We gotta make our batter first though. Ooh. We're gonna start by adding three large eggs to our mixing bowl here. Um, yeah. Look at this, look at this. Get, give me a good, good angle of this. Look at this, one hand. Oh! Man. We doing this one handed because we're professional. Look at this. Nothing but the best. All right, so we're gonna need two thirds cup of milk. We'll take it over here to our counter. We got a nice little soap, so we're taking it. Always shake your almond milk if you're using almond milk. Regular milk, I don't think you need to shake it. That might be nasty. But we're gonna do two thirds. Pro tip, when you're using a liquid measuring cup, when you're pouring it, you wanna get on eye level and keep it on a level surface as well. That way you can actually figure out how much, ignore that. You can find the true level. Almond milk combined. Right. I'm supposed to do a pinch of salt. It's coarse, it doesn't come out like that. I didn't add a bunch, it's just a little bit. So I'm gonna need about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. I only have a teaspoon, so we're gonna, we're gonna guesstimate for the most part. But the beautiful thing is it's cinnamon in French toast. So it's really hard to mess up and if you do, Sorry. That's kind of a quarter teaspoon. We're gonna add that in there. Whoops, we're gonna add a little bit more too because you know, cinnamon, you can't have enough. Can't have enough. It's all good, all beautiful. In the arms of the so we have our cinnamon, I'm gonna add some vanilla to it. I haven't opened any of this. I bought it specifically for this and I hope, I hope I use it again and I'm hoping that if I make more videos, that, you know, some of the stuff that will pay off because I'm out here I'm spending these big boy racks, getting these premium ingredients, making some good French toast. 
Those pancakes are beautiful too. I know you saw that. I know you saw that. And if you didn't see that, check it out. Check it out right there. Did I do it? I hope so. A teaspoon of vanilla. Now we're just gonna whisk. Whisk all this up real quick. Get in there, get in there. See that. Looks good. Looks like some French toast to me. So now we're gonna go to our skillet. No, same nonstick skillet, it's famous already, you guys know this. Medium to high heat, and if you know this channel, country crock, we keep the butter, keep our arteries clogged. All right, so we're gonna lightly um, butter our pan here. I just put some butter in there. You know, I spread my butter around. A nonstick skillet, so I'm not too worried about it sticking, but I want kind of like a crispier edge with it. While we're letting our butter melt real quick, we're gonna take some of our French toast slice. I'm gonna start with the end piece because everybody knows the first piece is always the worst piece. So we're just gonna go ahead and dunk that in there. Let that completely submerge, soak in all those juices. That's why we cut them thick because we want them to soak in. And then boom, all right? Got one beautiful piece right here. And then when it's ready, looks like my butter is melted enough for me. Take it. I'm just gonna plop it right down in there. And then repeat. Repeat, let that soak in. Easy peasy. This is what, this is what morning breakfast is all about. We're starting with the, with the simple recipes because you're supposed to wake up 7 a.m., 8 a.m. You don't wanna think about making French toast. Just plop some ingredients in there. All you need is a little cinnamon, a little vanilla, some eggs, some milk, and you're good to go. Oh, and I guess some bread. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking we can fit a couple of pieces in here. I don't want to take forever. Making those pancakes took me like well over an hour because I was cooking each one individually and it just, it takes a long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and soak up and do about three pieces here. I wish you guys could smell this. It's starting to smell like morning breakfast right here. It's <sighs> all right. So I got my tongs here. Mom's tongs again. Hey, sue me. All right. I'm going to just take this one and we'll look at it. That's looking about right to me. Let's check these other ones real quick. Whoops. This one doesn't feel quite as firm. I, I'm wondering if it's because this one's an end piece, but that's looking a little bit better. I'm wondering for some of these other ones, if I'm going to start end up using, um, a spatula because these are kind of squishing and I don't want to squish them. So I'm going to take this one. That's looking about right to me. So I think I'm going to flip it. Get this guy all flipped over. All right. These, I want to give these a second longer. Let me get out. I don't have a spatula. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip these guys over too. Because that's looking, that's looking about right to me. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know what I smell though. <laughs> all right. Take this guy too. Yeah, they're looking about right. So we're just gonna let these guys finish cooking and then same process, dunk and put them back in. All right, I'm starving. I'm sure you guys are too, <laughs> looking at all this good ass food. Look at this, look at this. Premium, let me check this out, premium. So everybody knows you got to eat the first batch. You got to eat the first batch. It's just, it's just how it is. You got to eat the first batch. So I'm going to layer this up a little bit. Make this look all pretty for y'all. There we go. And we'll just see how we're doing. And I, I messed up. I don't have powdered sugar, but it is what it is. I do have some delicious blueberries that didn't look good on it at all. And... We got, wait, look at this. Premium maple syrup. Oh, it's missing, it's missing the, the foundation of powdered sugar, but we'll try it. We'll see how good our French toast actually is. It definitely makes me smile. That is, that's how you keep yourself doing this. You know, you gotta eat your first batch and you learn from it. Did I overcook it? Did I undercook it? 
or is it absolutely delicious and perfect like this is? Look at that. Can you see that steam? Bet you wish you were me. All right, guys, let's get you trying some. Let's All get right. you in here. All right. All right. Also, you ever guys ever seen Worth It? You know Worth It. You got to let the camera guy try some. I mean, look at this. I'm not going to have him filming it. I am not trying any. I'm going to get a new fork, though. Here you go. Here, we'll switch. We'll switch. Let me see it. Ignore my cat. All right, tell me what you think, Jeremy. Okay. Let's see it. Let's try this out. Cuts like butter. <laughs> Honest opinion, what do you think, man? Is it delicious? It's some good French toast right here. It's I some good lie. French toast. That's a quote this from better, right This there. is better than French toast sticks. This is better what you're gonna buy at Nothing Walmart you're... in the frozen section. This is much better than that. This is gonna be a good breakfast for you guys. You can't, you can't, you can't buy anything like this in the store. You this can't. is this is premium. It's homemade. Look at this. This is premium. It's homemade. Look at that. One hundred percent pure. We did this ourselves. Premium. Premium. And <laughs> look at all, all this bread, man. We got more to go. We got batter too. This is the most important shot of the entire video. You see our extra lighting. Look at this. This is the star. What is it missing? Powdered sugar. I didn't buy any powdered sugar and that's a problem. The food industry is filled with lies. Maybe it's just for the shot? Maybe just for the shot? I mean, I'm full, he's full. It's not gonna kill anybody. You guys might not even see this. Let's do it. How to do it. That. That's it. Right there. Yeah, over to the left. No, the other way. That's it. Or maybe mm. a little bit more bread, yeah. That's the triple stack right there. Wait. I think that, that's, like, that's what I was just thinking because I kind of like the way it's so we want to. So we're in the middle. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you.